Hey, it's Wrestling Hero Figs. We're going to be covering WrestleMania, potential returns, as well as Legends. Doing a little homage as to what they've done in the years prior. Now, we are seeing four, but I got quite a bit on the list, you guys. We got stuff from NXT. We got something from New Generation. Golden. Attitude. And I also want you guys to tell me in the comments right now. What are the top five WWE superstars that you guys would love to see come back? And of course, if you guys do enjoy the concept, drop a like and let's get straight into this because I know Finn Balor, he's going to be there, right? He will be competing for the United States Championship. Now, my thing is, is that if he is going to be on the grand stage, how about he brings back the demon? How often has this gear and attire been used throughout the years? I'll tell you what. Not very often, and you guys always know, it's almost a guarantee. Anytime that he puts on this paint, it brings a little oofed out of the Balor man. Will that be enough right here to suffice the capture of the United States Championship? Well, that's why we're here, man. We're going to find out quite a bit in this video. So if you guys are stopping by for the first time, hit the subscribe button and let me know if you guys think that Cody Rhodes just needs to pop up right now. As of right now, everything's in the air. It might be the night after WrestleMania. It might be that following SmackDown. Hey, if it does, WHF, he's going to be right there in the crowd for the grand return right there of your boy Cody Rhodes. My only thing is, and I'm crossing my fingers, that this is actually not the case. But I really hope that that whole Stardust gimmick just dies, gets buried, never brings it back. I know Rock would definitely agree. People's champ over here coming up, raising them eyebrows, laying the smack down on those jabrones. Now, some of these guys do keep in mind it's not going to be for like a regular in-ring return. It's not someone that we're going to see on a nightly basis. For some of these people, they just need the, the legends to put people on those seats. And that's what Vince McMahon has done throughout the years, using some of his OG legends to make the comeback. We'll talk about you guys in just a sec. First, let's get the band tuned up. I'm not your boy toy. Boy toy. I'm just a sexy boy. Sexy boy. We got some baldness. We got the sweet chin. And that's what Shawn Michaels does, you guys. He brings all that love. Now, he did state in his last match, which was at the Crown Jewel. He said that, dude, I am never doing this again. As far as like an actual full-on match, he no longer has it built in. He is down in NXT helping out the younger talent. But as far as him making like a full actual in-ring match, hey, that might happen. That, yeah, it's never going to happen. But if it does, this is what I want to go down, right? Hulk Hogan coming up here and challenging him, right? He's like, yo, we fought each other at WrestleMania. I know you still got some left in you. Well, let's find out. Sweet chin? Uh-uh. Not yet because we got the big boot and then the leg drop dropping in. Now, here's the question of it all. For Hulk Hogan, we're definitely going to see the man. And it's not going to be like an actual match. But are we going to see him in the red and yellow or the black and white? Because you guys also have to remember, Scott Hall, yes, RIP to the late gray. And I do see a reunion happening right here. And this is kind of why I'm thinking that we're going to be leaning more towards this theme of the Hulkster, right? You'd have to bring the title. He would have to bring big sexy Kevin Ash right there. Scott Hall up in the sky looking down upon these too. This is going to be such a good moment and I'm definitely looking forward to I know the whole community not just in the wrestling community, in the wrestling figure community, but just in the legends and anybody that has been during this time of how much this needs to get brought into the squared circle. Big Nash will be there. We got Hulk Hogan coming in. Again, I do. Le I am leaning more towards the black and white. And then The Undertaker, he is part of the Hall of Fame this year. So obviously, there is no doubt that Dead Man, he's got to do something, man. I, I would love to see either a choke slam or a tombstone or a just a quick mashup of him. Him in the big red machine making a little appearance right there, right? Let's go ahead and say we captured the titles, right? Yeah, buddy. Now let's go backstage and come across two of the greatest. And when it comes to the tag team division, hands down to the greatest right here that ever played the game. So I want to see Undertaker apart from the ceremony. I do want to see a little quick in ring action right there with Kane. And you know Kane can still throw it on. He still has that mayor game, but I'll tell you what. Him and Taker, once they get together, it is always magic. Now, since we are talking about the click, because there is a click, keep in mind, right there, new generation, 
That's where it started. We had Triple H. We had the one, two, three kid. Obviously, during that time, it, now we got X Pac. So, if you guys aren't familiar, these guys right there had been brothers in the beginning. So, I want to see these two right there also making a little quick comeback again. If it's just a promo, that would work. I really do think that Road Dog and Billy, I know Road Dog does not have the current status right there with WWE. He was one of the top names that was let go during the whole process of getting everybody fired because he was running SmackDown there for a while. He was doing the whole GM. But I do think for a special occasion, and Scott Hall, without a doubt, is definitely a special occasion. Now, we get into John Cena. We got Superman coming up. Now, Cena, he's always a given, too. Still has a lot of years left, whether it's a regular, like, a quick return for three months or just a special match to be thrown down at Mania. I definitely see right here the man making his comeback special. Not necessarily for any type of rematch because we already know, right? WrestleMania, him, The Fiend. Now, here's another thing about the fiend is that a lot of people are like no bro he's done there is no way in heck there is also nothing confirmed right now as far as aew or tna right now the biggest rumor is that he's kind of working more of like a hollywood theme he was going to transition from wrestling into an actual actor which for me i really hope it don't because i always enjoyed the gimmick and he was able to provide quite a bit but i would like to see the fiend making whether it's a wwe return or some kind of wrestling return because we need that character on a regular basis now getting into gargano Really hoping that the man right there is cleared. Again, I don't care if it's like for a return match or maybe like an undercard right there for the pre-show. But whether it's Monday Night Raw or SmackDown, I want to see Gargano get back into the rhythm of him with him as well as Bobby Lashley. Almighty, we've been missing you. I know you haven't been gone that long, my bro. But you, sir, you need to hurry up, get back into it. Because I tell you what, I know one thing that Paul Heyman has been talking about. And this has been a thing, you guys. I've seen this shared on Instagram by several contenders, right? I know Paul Heyman was one of them. I also know that Kurt Angle had shared this. And here it is. Right now, we're talking about the bloodline. As of right now, we got Roman Reigns, we got the Usos, we got four, and of course, all of them holding gold. And this was the thing too, you guys. At some point, Kurt Angle, he was right there alongside with all four of these gents. So whether he's doing it in the later days or in the earlier, Paul Heyman, I don't know, man. I don't know if it's just, again, just a little talk or getting people excited, but I can assure you this. Shelton Benjamin, he's still very much doing a thing, right? Now, Charlie Haas, that's my only concern. Kurt Angle, yeah, I don't know. They did this man wrong, so I highly doubt any kind of special return being made. But I'll tell you what, if this was just a quick Legends return match right there, tag team division, again, Undertaker and Kane doing quite a bit, but I feel like these two could also put on a hell of a show if Kurt Angle right there was more of like a ringside manager and then Paul Heyman can make a little return. Now, Bailey, uh, we want that Bailey back on a regular nightly basis. We miss her, man. She is one of the greats. And to not see her right here on SmackDown or Raw, man, I've just been missing Bailey quite a bit. Not sure if it's her whole character or what she's doing back here. I'll tell you what, bailey has got quite a bit to offer in the women's division. And you can't say a lot to offer in the women's division unless you are talking about Asuka. Who wants Asuka? WHF wants Asuka. WEF wants Asuka. Everybody in the community, they want to see this happen. And you know what? Not just a return. No, 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 my friend. Let's get right there. A top match, right? Celebration happens for the women's title. Asuka makes the return. And then she says, come on, man. Who wants a little bit of Asuka? I'll tell you what. I think Brett the Hitman Hart could also dab into a little bit of that. It's like, yo, my friends, y'all need some sharpshooters. I heard Shawn Michael was going to be out here. I heard that Triple H was also going to be a thing. You know what? I may be old to the game, but if there's going to be any kind of tribute right there for Hall, I do see Brett the Hitman Hart. Now, keep in mind, new generation, all these guys, whether you were part of the clique or you were going against the clique, Brett the Hitman Hart, definitely one of those top guys right there on the road with them. So I see a lot of memories being played out. One that I want to see also, you guys, I still want Rikishi back, man. I know we're going to be getting him in the figure lineup in that upcoming Greatest Hits. So you know what? 
what better way to make a greatest hits than to make a little quick return right there at WrestleMania? I don't care if you do a stink face on Bobby Lashley or Gargano wants to take the bonsai drop. I'm going to tell you this. Five time, five time, five time, sucker. I know that wasn't five time, but if it was, we'd be doing a Spinner Rooney, Booker T commentary. Yes, all right, get it. But keep in mind, legends right here, best of the name in the game at WrestleMania is this man. And whether it's the Spinner the Rooney, the bookend, the scissors cut. We're going to go ahead and take them all. Last one I want to throw in here, you guys, and I know Goldberg, right? There's still a whole thing with the shoulder and just injury. Right now, the man is dreading from injury. But you know what? If anybody was to ask me if I enjoyed that match right there between him and Bobby Lashley at Crown Jewel, I haven't done this yet. But if you guys do want to see it, let me know in the comments. That was hands down one of the best matches right there of 2021. Was that early 2022? It doesn't matter, you guys. These are some of my favorite guys that we need to see come back whether you're a legend whether it's current roster whether you just want to make a little quick appearance to get people right here in Texas filled to the brim, that's the goal, right? We need over 90,000 superstars, and what better way to do so with some of these lads? Again, give me your thoughts in the comments. Let me know what are some of the top superstars that you would love to see. I want to thank you guys for watching. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel, and we'll see you on the next one. Yeah, Gargano, I see you, my boy. Let's get it.